Small First Expo 2011. I'm Joe, that's Rusty, and we're here with the man, the ah. big cheese, the big man on campus, Warren, Warren Bernard. Bernard. Well, thanks for having me, guys. This is great. Yeah, thanks for thanks coming. Thanks for on. having us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thanks for having us. Thanks for the nice, beautiful backdrop we've enjoyed. Well, yes, it's uh, uh, one of the perks that Dustin did a great job on that, didn't he? He it did was, it was fantastic. Apparently, he also did a great job at the Ignis. We didn't get to uh, see it because it was so, so many people went there, we didn't get night. in. You're kidding. No. Yeah. We, it, should, it actually me. filled up. I, I, I have contacts. I've heard. Okay. <laughs> you know people. I've heard you have contacts everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got to the door and then people started to turn around. And like, oh yeah, sure. You know, I, in fact, what I did was, um, I hope to have this up the next couple of days. <clears throat> you know, there's this, a new, there's this technology that allows you to stitch together panoramic views from multiple oh, yes. camera yes. things, okay? So I took... I took four pictures all the way around the room Fantastic. and I'm going to stitch them together to show how many people That's were cool. in that I love it. Um, the, the room that I was in, is it the White Flint? White Flint, White Flint yeah. Amphitheater. The, it's just an amazing looking room it is. for that kind of event. And pe well, people say it's like the UN sitting in there. Right, like, yeah, right, yeah. right, exactly. It's like the UN, exactly. And by the way, it is. If you go, you ever been up to the General Assembly building? Mm -mm. No. Oh yeah, it's like ten times bigger, of course. Right. Okay? Uh, and uh, you know the great scenes in uh, a Star Wars. Where, yes, yes. Right? That's where they stole that from. Okay, so so that I think you're suggesting we take a shuttle next year yes, for right. the Ignats. Right, yes, right, 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 exactly. <laughs> Just get some buses. Yeah. And we're all going to New York. Right. We're all going up there. <laughs> Ignats so, you know, trip. Something I think we're going to need the room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, speaking of so needing the growth. room, from what I understand, next year. You're, yes, you're, you're yes. blowing out the doors on this sucker. Yes, I've blown out the doors on this sucker um, about uh, I guess around six weeks ago now. Uh, I signed the papers that we're going to get 50% more room than wow. we have this year. And um, what we're going to do is we're, you know, we, we've got a lot of uh, table backlog. We've got like 50, 60 tables that, you know, that we could go ahead and sell. Mm -hmm. But the idea is not to go ahead and sell as many tables as we can. We've got to put in enough tables to go ahead and pave the incremental space. But... You know, some, we, we need space. Okay? Yeah. I want wider aisles. I don't like, you know, the people who are on uh, the edges, okay, the, um, oh, the right the corners, overlapping yeah. corners. The overlapping yeah. corners, okay, those got to go. All yeah. right? It's very uncomfortable. Um, people can't get through. Like, for instance, right now, if you came at 1 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday, you couldn't get through here. No. All right? It would take you. Every aisle was just packed. Was just packed. Yes, right, yeah. exactly. So we, we, we got to do that. And um, we also have to go ahead and... Uh, like I said, pay for it, and then you yeah. know, we want to put some extra tables in there. We want to make a little extra money. Sure. Right? Um, well, and that's just give uh, give more exposure. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the yeah, artists exactly. and the, the writers and everybody they get to have a table that they might not have otherwise. That's that's right. Now, and of course, we're still not going to take everybody who was on the wait list. Oh no, okay? there's just such so, demand. Yeah. Yeah, there's such demand, and I've got some of the bigger dealers that already said, Warren, I had three tables this year. Can I get four next year? Wow. So I've already got that kind of yeah, stuff right. I've got to deal with. So. It's done, okay, we're gonna have, we're gonna go from like 10 or 11,000 square feet to 15, 16,000 square feet. Wow. And, um, you know, we're gonna blow the doors open. It's kind of amazing because we've been to almost every expo. We yeah. didn't go to the first one. We started with the second expo. Yeah. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. We've oh, gone to everyone wow. since. And it's amazing to see it grow. Yeah. Because it used to be in three small rooms. That's right. It used to be in three small rooms, and they expanded to a fourth long room, and now it fills this. Right. It feels yeah. this gigantic ballroom. And to the point now that even this isn't enough, so. Yeah. Well, you know something, um, this is good because it means that if we can, you know, hopefully make more money, then we can give more money away to people like CBLDF. Absolutely. And graphic Absolutely. novels and, you know, uh, one of the other things we did this year, you know, we used to, we have a print ad budget, okay? And the print ad budget, we would buy something in the Washington City paper and maybe the Washington Post Express. Mm -hmm. Well, this year we said, the hell with that. We're going to buy stuff in Smoke Signal, Secret Prison, and Magic Bullet. Okay, and support the tabloids. Nice. All right, so that we get a double bang for the buck. Right. right. You know, look, we're capitalists. I'll be the first one to admit it, okay? If we didn't make profit and these jet people are here to make profit, there would be a show. There would be no reason, yeah. Right, exactly. So, you know, so yeah, we want to get people in, but you know, so we also want to support these tabloid newspapers, and they're giving away for free. Yeah. Well, so we're helping them out. This way you can get the word out there and support back into the community and for the small press community. community. Yeah. Right, exactly. exactly. Um, and and I, I think those tabloids actually are a really cool development that have happened over the last year or two. They're fantastic. I mean, it's like, it's just like, how have there not been these all along? That's yeah. right. You know, right. And, and, and the reason is because it's a lot of hard work and it costs it money. Well, yeah, but the, the one thing in talking with the people who publish them, 
the nice thing about it is, is that they're low printing costs, okay? Because of the newsprint. Because of the newsprint, the newsprint. The newsprint yeah, yeah. okay? You know, there's been all these digital changes in technology, so if you send the PDF file, someone can do the layout, these guys can lay them out into the high-speed paper presses, and the pulp they're on is relatively cheap. Right. Okay, and there are printing presses that normally do, let's say, something like the, um, the Montgomery County Sentinel, all right, that have time that they can go ahead and schedule these things in. Yeah. So, you know, there were so many compelling things, but guess what? It is not the same. One of the nice things about them is, is that it's a compelling reason to not read comics on the internet. Don't get me yeah. wrong. No. I love web comics. Absolutely. But this is a different reading experience. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you open up some of these double page spreads, some of these people have done. You oh know, yeah. Absolutely mind boggling. Well, where else can you get a chance to see art that big? That's right. That's true. You know, yeah. And, and such a varied kind of art. Because usually when that happens, it's because it's one person or one group, and they're doing one book or one story, and it's all you know, it's big, sure. but it's just them. Right. With right, these, right. you get a variety of people expressing oh, yeah. themselves in such large That's ways. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. So, you know, I'm a big fan of them. As a matter of fact, some of them have basically disappeared. Smoke Sequence number two. I called Gabe up in uh, at Desert Island Books mm -hmm. and publishes it. Can't be found for any price. Wow. They are legitimately rarer than signed Babe Ruth baseballs. That's amazing. Okay, yeah, think about that as a concept. It's funny because you use that example elsewhere. And it brings to mind something else that you've endeavored this year. Oh, God. <laughs> the Library of Congress. Oh, yes. oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you thought I was going to say. Like, wait a minute. Wait. No, we're keeping this above board. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but the uh, archiving things with the Library of Congress. Yes, right, right, yeah. We started up the uh, Small Press Expo collection at the Library of Congress. Um, there was this, uh, well, let me back up. <clears throat> I've been a volunteer down there for like five years. Uh, every, once a week I go down and I do a bunch of cataloging uh, with their cartoon collection. <clears throat> and I've gotten to know a bunch of people. And um, in talking to them over the years, they've got a tremendous collection that basically stops the end of the 20th century. Okay, and they, they do have some indie stuff, but not a lot. Right. And I was talking with people down in the comic book section, and they, they've been to SPX, and they're like, oh my God, you know, there's all this material, we can't get our hands on it. So after talking to a bunch of people, we worked out this whole thing that basically, legally, with the Library of Congress, we now have what's called a memorandum, legal memorandum of understanding, that we have a formal collection with the Library of Congress. And that, you know, the purpose is, is to help preserve not only the art of SPX, and we've got all these cool posters and badges, you know, look at these great badges. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Did, okay? And by the way, we got the original art to pull the badges. Wow. That's nice. Okay. We also got, you know, the program thing, the Jim Rugg thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's done in pencil, and he gave us the original for that. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful piece. It's, it's mind-boggling when you see it's, the art. It's like treating the show as an opportunity to instantly build an amazing art collection. Yes. But no, <laughs> you hit the nail on the head. We, we've done all this great art over the years. We right. don't have a complete collection of it. By its very nature, a lot of the comics that are here are ephemeral. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because Many these are low print. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, you know, these are on a shoestring budget. And they, I was going to say, as, yeah. as someone who publishes mini comics, yeah, we know that it's because we haven't been to Kinko's this week, it's out of print. You know? Queen so. Zinger. Okay. That guy is just, amazing. Yeah, yes. sure. I was standing at the Fantagraphics table, oh, what's that? He goes, oh, it's just a new thing I kind of put together. It's like, dude, I want a copy of the Library of Congress, okay? Because you know what's going to happen to this. It may never get printed again. Yeah. All right. So, you know, it's stuff like that that we need to we need to preserve this history. You know, it'd be a tragedy if 10, 20 years from now this stuff has disappeared. Yes. Okay. And and the whole cart you know the cartoon universe then becomes. Right now, it's built on political cartoons, comic strips, comic books, and manga. That's what the institutions go after. Very few institutions. No institutions are programmatically going after this stuff the way we're going to do it, okay? And this is going to be, you know, the end of the stuff. Now, we also hope that other institutions do this. We think, you know, this is just for SPX. The only people right. who are allowed in this collection are people who have exhibited at SPX or are guests at, at, at SPX, okay? And other, we hope other people in other cities do the same thing so that this gets expanded, all right? It's, it, this is about us. We have to confine the collection for many reasons. Best way for us to do it, and man, I'm real happy to be able to preserve some of this stuff. Absolutely. We're real psyched, okay? And the, by the way, the Library of Congress is real psyched. Oh, yeah. The, when I went in to, to sign the contract with the lawyers, the lawyers, okay, this is the chief, one of the chief counsels up, up there, okay, who, by the way, had this amazing view in her office the dome of the Library of Congress and the dome of the Capitol. Wow. And she was up on the up on the top floor. It was like, oh my God, how do you get any work done up here? Okay. <laughs> and they were like, this is great. We can't believe this. We and, and by the way, 
they all took free passes to SPX. Nice. Of course, I gave them out to, you know, high-break homes, things like that. So, you know, the lawyers were enthused about this. But how cool is that? Yeah. All right. So anyway, you know, you fast forward three, four, five years, we have four, five, six hundred items in the collection, and guess what? It's going to be pretty awesome. People are going to go, oh my God, I had that, or it's gone, or I didn't know that came out. Right, or I had heard, heard about that, but never saw it. Never yeah. saw it, right, exactly. We're going to do the best we can. That's fantastic. So, our, our little gift. Yeah, you have a um, yeah, and one other thing just to, to pop on is, uh, you have a book that came out recently. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, yes. yes. Oh, God, I didn't realize it was going to be a shill. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll do it for you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah it was a drawing power for Fanagraphics books. It was Rick Marshall and myself, and it's a, uh, uh, a history of advertising done by cartoonists so from 1877 to 1940, and we hope to have a second volume if this one sells well. That'll awesome. be basically 1940 through to today. So it's got, what are there, there are about 250 images in it, 80, 85 different cartoonists. Wow. Like 100 different comic characters are in there. Tobacco ads, Dr. Zeus, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know, Dr. Zeus did advertising work mm -hmm. before he did even children's books. Wow. Um, so anyways, we've got, anyway, it's a, I think it's a great book, but I'll admit I'm biased. <laughs> it's your book. <laughs> yeah, right, it's my book. That's okay. So I can be biased. But it's in that same vein, especially advertising and things like that. that Ads are things that people wouldn't necessarily hold they, just, they discard them yes, as you know right. not real art. Yes, yeah. so it's another yeah. thing that's very important to archive and get and that that's together. Right. And, and actually, all of that came out of private collections. Oh, wow. There wasn't an institution that had the holdings that we needed to go ahead and put the book together. So Rick Marshall, you know, he's got a phenomenal collection that I'm de deadly envious of. And um, uh, you know, so about a hundred images, ninety images from his collection. 80 some odd are from my collection, if not a little more, and then the rest were from um, a couple of different people that I bugged in terms of getting stuff. And oh, by the way, there are at least three or four images in there from the Library of Congress. Nice. I did research down there also. Well, you're the good in between now between all illustrated media and the Library of Congress. Yes, you're yes, the good right. <laughs> like you're, All you, the different channels connect. Now, uh, to wrap it up, we're here at the tail end of SPX. It's the end of the day, day two. Uh, what I are think you looking? I'm going to die. Well, okay. okay. Now, Hopefully not before the interview's over. Let's but, say you know. theoretically, you don't die today, right? You you go on to next year. Yeah. Well, what do you What do you have in your sights for next year's show? Well, you know, I announced uh, Chris Ware and Dan Klaus. We heard yes, that's is, that's pretty big. It's kind yeah. of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what's funny, and I, and I don't mean this to bash either one of them. At least, especially Chris Ware, because he's the one over the years. So we've been to all the shows. The, Chris Ware has racked up so many bricks here, right, so many sure. mentors, and he's never been here for a right. number of reasons. Right, for a number all of reasons. All valid. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And so it's finally time for him to come. Well, and, and also to get Dan, you know, getting the two of them together is Seriously. Not, oh, yeah. You know, it, it, and like either one individually would be something, but... Right, right. Like, this is the main event in any city. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. Right, No matter right. where you're going, right, right, right. That's, no. a, that's an anchor right there. Yeah, it's an anchor right there. And to say that, you know, I can't thank these guys enough for, you know, not not only coming but coming together yes okay and right that, that you know i'm just like blown away that this opportunity is going to come to spx because you know something i you can only count on one hand if that much the number of times that both have been to any convention together in the united states normally it's one or the other it's mm -hmm. where you got both sure okay? and so it's like oh my god um i told kevin to go look kevin here's what's going to happen i'm going to die you already got next year set up, okay? Go Just for go it, forth. dude, okay? There's going to be like a, a box sealed in wax that he's going to open with like right. your plans for the next year. Yeah, right, sure, sure, sure. The SPX yeah. logo emblazoned yeah. in the wax. No, 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 Ke no, Kevin, knowing Kevin, he's going to go get the scientist from Reanimator. Oh, okay. oh yes. <laughs> so you're not going to miss it. All right, so I'm not going to no, miss yes. it. Right. So I'm going to save myself the whole dying and resurrection type thing, and I'm just going to go ahead and do Keep it. Keep that in your back pocket <laughs> for later, right, just right, in case. Right. No, no, I, to say I'm psyched is an understatement because... Um, as you said, they've never been here, and we're going to have this huge facility for them next year. Yeah. Right? And, you know, there are, there are fans of theirs that we hope to get in that have never been to SPX before. Right. Okay. Well, those guys nowadays, they're considered uh, comics royalty, at least in the alternative comic scene. Okay? Oh, sure. But yeah. what, what people, at least now, probably forget is that 10 years ago, they would have fit in perfectly here. You know, I mean, they maybe had larger audiences than most of the people yeah, here. Maybe closer to 20 years ago, but yeah. yeah I you know what I'm saying, right. Saying, sure, is yeah, they, this is their show. This is where they came. Yeah, yeah this I mean, is, this is yeah, where they started. They were, like, concurrently growing. 
Right. Mm -hmm. exactly. And it's it's cool that you know, there's going to be an opportunity now for them to be here. To say to say that we're honored to have the both of them. It's like you know my if my brain wasn't exploding for the last 48 hours in terms of <laughs> right. you know putting this thing together, it'd certainly be exploding. You might need some after show care. Yes. Can you say defibrillator? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you can when the time comes. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, I, I had to hold on to this information for like what, four or six weeks or something like wow. that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cause what came first, the larger venue or them? Because I know that, I know you guys have been thinking about a larger venue for a couple of years. Well, they, they all came at around the same time, but I had um, been engaging with them in conversation for a while about you know getting them out to an SPX. Mm -hmm. um, so they're they're coming up and saying, yeah, we're going to come in 2012, and actually signing the papers for the additional expansion. Basically came within about a week or two of one another. Wow! All right, so I, I had all that no, stuff lined that's up. That's a big fortnight right there for yes. you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, you know, I, you know, and, and it's bad enough I've been on this two-week adrenaline rush, and then you know this thing, and I think, like I said, defibrillator is the word. Oh, also a heart syringe with 300 cc's of adrenaline right there. Oh okay. yeah. I'm not like out of Pulp Fiction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm squeamish, so don't look to me. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm going to count on you. <laughs> yeah. You just tape it to your shirt and have it ready right there. Okay, so. Right. <laughs> so you just walk good, out. Good. Good. Wow. I like that. Yeah. I like you that. need like a little card. Like if I pass out, please if reach for the syringe. Yes. No, get one of those bracelets. Okay. Yeah, that's and exactly. Then, yeah. And then there'll be a little chip in there. Yeah. Medical push, bracelet. You push the button. Please put syringe in heart. Okay. <laughs> like ah. Uh, I got think it. there's no better way to end this fantastic time with you than talking about uh, dire hearts. Yes. His heart's in need of <laughs> rejuvenation. Th that's where comics have brought us. That's amazing. <laughs> that's well, it. yes, and, and that's about what I'm going to need tomorrow morning because I have no idea if I'm ever going to get up again. Well, thank you so much for coming Look, and talking thanks, to us. Yes, by the way, thanks it. for doing this, and, and I've had a blast doing this interview. This is just awesome. Great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Thanks, thanks again, Warren. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Can't, wait. Can't wait to see you.